welcome back at Peter Plays who are playing the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching, thanks so much for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Especially for subscribing, I'm trying to get to uh, 900 subscribers as soon as possible. To everyone that does subscribe, thank you so very very much. And also thank you for leaving some nice comments down below, that really helps me to clear out this game even better. About clearing the game, I'm almost done with it, so also thank you for filling out the poll or leaving your uh, uh, opinion in the comments down below. Which game shall we play next? There's an Octrock right there, so let's keep the distance because I want to use that Octrock later. But for now, let me finish my sentence. If you want me to play, uh, well, there's a choice of three games. Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Bros. Wonder or uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Either answer me in the comments down below or go to the community tab on the channel and fill out the poll. There's an Octorok. I want to use it to upgrade my bow. Alright, so it's disappearing, which is exactly what I want. So I can now go into my bow menu. This one was already upgraded, so this one... Let's drop it. Retreat. All right, so. Let's check what uh, what did we get? Uh, it's still a, th a three shot bow, but okay, fine, fine. Um. Let's equip this. By the way, so we found an Octrock, the bow upgrade didn't really work. I wanted to have a five shot bow, but anyway, apparently that happens. Um, last time, I was in the vicinity of uh, the Corona Hot Springs, and I had, because my sensory is still set to Bubble Frog, and um, there was. Check. There's nothing out there. Uh, but maybe I can go here. Because that's above ground, and I can just paraglide my way over. Uh, I want to go back there because the bubble frog sensor was going off. So there is a cave there that I haven't found yet. And I think I'm pretty close to finding all caves. So that is somewhat of a side, maybe even main quest that I set myself. I want to find all caves in this game before I face off with Ganon. Um, so where am I at now? Coron Hot Springs is here. So let's put a pin here. Uh, Tulin is not here because I dismissed all sages because otherwise they would shoot the Octorox. I kind of need them. So for now, I'm going to leave it as is. If I should happen across another Octorok, well. Both my three shot bows are upgraded. So maybe, maybe it's not that bad to bring out the sages again. Well, I can't summon them here anyway. Okay, fine. Or maybe I can summon Tulin already. I can. All right. Somehow the game puts me in uh, the sky right now. Elden Sky Archipelago. See? there all right nearby down below so there we go already so let's leave this all right this this is a crevasse uh but i might be wrong because there's nothing anymore can i see a cave somewhere is this one? Bubble frog nearby. Is this a cave? No.
looking at everything as it oh oh ay 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 i was up there and then i saw but is that just a tunnel opening or is it actually a cave? This might be a cave. This might actually be a cave. Uh, let's be sure here. I think this is a cave. It is. Southern mine. All right. All right, we found a cave. Is there a maybe like even a quest in here? All right, there is a quest. All right, maybe I'll summon what's his name, you know, you know who. I'll summon them all. It's fine. All right, so let's talk. All right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, wait a minute. I want another bow, I think. Four seconds left, so this is cool. I missed that one. Six. Seven. Alright, 
We're good. We're good. I missed a few though, but I don't think I shot more than 10 arrows. I didn't count. Seven, I think? Nine? Really? <laughs> Alright, 20 rupees. But I completed the side quest. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that though, but um the southern mine is interesting because there's a bubble frog in here somewhere. is actually still pretty okay. So obviously I'm interested in where this goes. Ah, uh, nothing except one treasure chest. You know, no, I have every single sage, but you know, boy is not here. Huh? Really? All right. Well, I've got more than enough of, I think, these time bombs. Yes, I do. <laughs> I can hear you. I can see you. See, if I'm right, there's six more to go. Oh, I missed it. There's six more to go. And then I've got all... Um, and I've got all... Can I actually go into my weapons inventory? It's here. And I'll take that crusher. Alright. more and I think I've got all caves in this uh... oh look at that in this game um I climbed all the way to the top didn't I so I'm not gonna write that again for now but it's good to know this thing is here so the southern mine cave we found that found that interesting stuff Now the other thing I want to know, then I need to be, well I don't need to be, but I'm going to go outside first. Aha! Um, night time. So let's check if I go into my inventory here. How many high value, like this has a fuse uh, attack power of 14, right? But, uh, fuse attack power of what? 50? Okay. I was gonna look at... Was it this? No. 
34, not bad. This was it. I only have two of them, apparently. Silver Lionel Saberhorn. Fuse attack power of 55. I want more of those. So I should know where the Silver Lionels are hiding, right? Because um, that's the highest fuse power there is. And then, it would also be interesting to know which one is the highest value clean weapon in the game. Because I thought it was going to be the Royal Guard Sword or the Royal Guard Claymore, but apparently it's not. So if anybody knows what the highest fuse value weapon is in the game, that would be cool. Um, what I could do to try and find a Lionel... I know there was a Lionel here. Um, here. I don't know if that's a silver one or not. Closest shrine is probably that one. Or do I have a... No. Skyview Tower near. I completely lost track of where the line was right now. Okay, right there. So I don't. Ah, oh, maybe I do. That's actually pretty far. This one is closer. Let's go full out attack. And then um, also in my inventory, let's do quick shot. Is that quick shot? No, it's an attack up. Okay, well, anyway. Let's actually put a pin where I want to be, which is here. I thought the Not Nautel Wetlands was also a Lionel. Not really sure, but I'm pretty, pretty, pretty certain, so... in a thunderstorm now, this is a bit sad because I'm gonna lo um, lose I am gonna use uh, a number of Gibdo bones on this all right it is thunderstorming not good So, I should remember that I'm not sporting the best weapons right now, and I hope the weather clears by the time I reach my Lionel friend, because otherwise I might be in a bit of issue. I might have a bit of trouble. I think it's that bend in the map right above my paraglider right there. That 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 little valley is where it's hiding. Well hiding is where it's at. I should be careful because I'm almost running out of stamina here.
All right, perfect. There is no thunderstorm here, so let's go. Oof. Let's go back to the master sword. The shield actually is fine. Then the bow. Let's go for the attack of one again. All right. Before I do anything, though, where is the ah? It's right there. Is that a silver one? Can I can I maybe look at it from up here with my um um with my camera? It's blue maned. All right, never mind. Um, that is the one that dropped the bow, though. Let me check. So I'm here. Let's let's actually go here, and then straight south should give me another liner. Oh, <laughs> I was right underneath the Bacoblin Tower. I had no idea at all. All right, I'm even above ground. Cool. South. South is that direction. Um, I'm gonna remove this pin though. Um. I wasn't, I don't think I was ever here before. This is not the place that I wanted to be. I completely went the wrong way. That happens. It's not the first time. I'm, I'm running the right way now. Okay, so now I'm running the right way. So this is better. Pretty sure this was a Lionel. Yep, there we go. Alright, so... Um... A silver Lionel. There we go. All right. So first of all, we have a silver Lionel there. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, also, maybe I should. I've got one, two, three, four rocket shields. Okay. It's a silver Lionel. Fine. So let's gain some altitude. Let's go and then shoot Gib the Bones at the crazy guy. Um, how many Gib the Bones do I have? Gib the Bones, Gib the Bones. How many Gib the Bones? There we go, 82. How many Bone Flowers? 41.
I should hit him now. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Do I have something that is really weak? <sighs> this is almost done, so let's um all that. Alright, so let's take a peek see in my inventory. So uh Lionel horns. I'm completely I've got three of them. Cool. Uh, it's a three shot bow. Okay. But we did the silver Lionel. Ah. Um, Crypto bones. I started with 82. How many do I have left? 66. Ooh, that's a lot. Ah, that's expensive. That's really expensive. That's a bit of a bummer. But we know this one is a silver Lionel. It didn't drop the five shot bow, but anyway, okay. Maybe we can find another kind Octorok to upgrade it. Why not? Um, that's actually an idea. Wrong button. So. Let's go. Near Squabble River? Shouldn't there be Octoroks near the river? It's raining, but I'm outside. Hit. Apparently no, I'm running through dueling peaks, pretty nice scenery here, but um, no Octoroks, there's a Korok seed here, I need to reach your I'm so sorry, I have no use for you. The falls in the river, alright. Apparently, I got it wrong again. No Octorox. That's a bit of a shame. Is that Hyrule Herb? I'm gonna pick that. Yep. Hip. Yeah, your clothes will get wet. No Octorok. <laughs> Bit weird. But it is what it is. was probably you, Minoru. Alright. Hmm. 
No Octorok near the river, apparently. Too bad for me. Um. Were there Octoroks in here? Let's try. Am I in a cave or am I outside here? I thought I would be in a cave here. Alright, at first glance, no Octorox here either. A bit disappointing, but okay, it is what it is. So I guess then we should be happy with the fact that we've scored another sil a silver Lionel Horn. Uh, also, actually, we should be rather happy with the fact that it was rather easy to get that Lionel Horn. It was expensive on the Gibdo Bones department, but... Um, other than that, it was fine. So for now, I think, given that we've passed the half an hour mark yet again, I think I'll end the episode here once more. I will say thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel, making sure you hit the bell icon and don't miss a single update, and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye!